I'm one of the uh, three owners of the store and uh, we purchased the store, this store, it was five years ago in uh, June. Products in this store, um, we have changed it considerably. <clears throat> when we bought it, it had no jewelry. Now it has lots of jewelry. And uh, the original owner sold things like trolls and gnomes and dark stuff. The store was very dark. So we brightened it up, livened it up, uh, uh, put in things that uh, would appeal to a wide uh, range of people. And uh, we try to always uh, <clears throat> to try to make our theme jewelry. Yeah, we want people to come in and look at all the interesting things, but we want them to buy jewelry. So on our sign out front, you will always see jewelry on top. My favorite product in this store, uh, and there are several, but um, I guess I have developed a passion for the hot sauces, barbecue sauces. We try to have a lot of local ones. We try to have the hottest pepper in the world. The signs really stand out. We make it a, uh, on purpose. We put signs out in front to catch their attention. Try to have some of the more interesting signs out there and bring them in. Most metal signs, for some reason, come out of Ohio. And uh, most metal signs are made there. And we just order them. They're just reproduced. So they're not really antique or old. So uh, I can't lie about it. So, but they do sell really well. People are just as happy to have one that's been reproduced as they are to have one that's an antique because it doesn't cost near as much. I'm from here originally and went to high school and then moved away and I lived in Indy for about 15 years and moved back here to go into business with my folks. And I own two shops here in Nashville, J. Bob's Trading Company, which we're out currently, and then the Main Street Images, which is right up the road. So Tim Ralston down there uh, produces a sauce called Hoboken Eddie. He actually hand bottles 150,000 bottles a year down there. His partner of 20 years, Chef Eddie, lives in Hoboken, New Jersey. Now you get the connection of the Hoboken Eddie. When we bought this store five years ago, and the original owners had it for 37 years, um, he was very passionate about knives, so knives came with the store. 